Hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we will know about the erythema toxicum neonatorum here multiple erythematous macules are seen mostly over the face and trunk of this baby there was no involvement of hair palms and soles examination revealed normal systemic findings and the newborn was on exclusive breastfeeds clinical features erythema toxicum neonatorum is characterized by multiple erythematous macules and papules that rapidly progresses to pustules on an erythematous base erythema toxicum neonatorum may be present at birth but typically appear within 24 to 48 hours etiopathogenesis erythema toxicum neonatorum occurs in 31 to 72% of full term infants but declines in incidence with decreasing birth weight and gestational age of the baby the superficial skin eruption is thought to be an immune mediated reaction restricted to hair and bearing area and the skin lesions contain eosinophilic infiltrate suggesting an allergic and hypersensitivity related etiology investigations the diagnosis of erythema toxicum is usually made upon on the basis of clinical appearance it is confirmed by microscopic examination of a right stain smear of the content of a pustule that demonstrate numerous eosinophils and occasional neutrophils a minority of patients may have peripheral eosinophilia differential diagnosis rash should be differentiated from pyoderma phototherapy rash pustular melanosis and congenital syphilis treatment no specific treatment is required it resolves spontaneously the rash usually resolve in 5 to 7 days although it may wax and wane before complete resolution prognosis erythema toxicum neonatorum is a benign condition so the prognosis is good thank you for listening to me please like share and subscribe for more such videos thank you